So this Saturday morning, there was this huge front page story in the Ottawa Citizen, screaming headline, P.S., that's public service left out of refugee planning. It's written by Catherine May. Let me read just the first sentences to you. Frontline federal employees who will be screening and managing the 25,000 Syrian refugees coming to Canada have been kept in the dark, say union leaders, despite draft plans suggesting that those being deployed should have been selected and trained by now. With the government promising full details of its refugee initiative Tuesday, a draft of the strategic plan for Operation Syrian Refugee lays out how the government could see up to 6,000 refugees brought in each week starting December 1. So let's recap. Civil servants have no clue about these 25,000 refugees. They haven't been briefed. They haven't had details yet. They haven't had training yet. Like the rest of us, they've deliberately been kept in the dark. And senior officials have been ordered by Trudeau not to let immigration staff talk to the press. They've been muzzled. So that's Saturday morning. And then Saturday night at 10.43 p.m. exactly, John McCallum, the immigration minister, tweets this photo. And he wrote, Unexpected pleasure to meet newly arrived Syrian refugees tonight at Humanity First event. Only 24,000 plus to go. P pardon me? So Syrian migrants have arrived already. So the people who have to screen them, to do background checks on them, they weren't involved? Literally that morning, Saturday morning, their union boss was ringing the alarm. They won't be able to vet them in time. And McCallum, their minister, just tweets a photo saying, ta-da! Up to a thousand have arrived already, and that looks like they're at some sort of hotel or event venue, not in a holding facility. They're, they're just free to come and go. A thousand of them already. And look at the picture. What's missing? Come on, it's 2015. You should spot it. Yeah, there are no women there. There are two boys, someone who looks like a grandpa, and seven single military-aged men. Yeah, I guess the Western concept of ladies first doesn't apply to Syrian migrants, does it? So what's going on here? Who are these men? When did they arrive? Are they new arrivals? McCallum was implying they had just arrived. How were they vetted? Where were the women? Why does the whole country have to learn about this in a late night tweet from McCallum? He has a history of public drunkenness. Was that a factor? Did he let something slip? Was the tweet accidental? Or was it just a thumb of the nose to the world, to the civil servants desperate to know the plan, to citizens desperate for reassurance of security? Was it just letting the world know that the liberals don't care about anything, about process, about rules, about safety, about vetting, that they can do what they want and flaunt it, and they can get away with it. If you want to do something about this insanity, click on refugeepause.ca or click right here. We've got to pause this madness. We just got to slow it down. We got to make sure we're safe. Help us fight back by clicking here. I'm Ezra Levant.